Before we get into today's video, where we'll be talking about the future of LEGO, more importantly, LEGO instructions, and if they're actually needed in LEGO sets. If you don't wanna watch the full video, at least go over to the community tab, I'll leave a poll up. Are you instructions in or are you instructions out? But I wanna take a look at my top because it's got a really cool design. My fiance surprised me with it yesterday, which is now two days ago because I am recording this video early. LEGO actually put out an insider's questionnaire to do with instructions. And it seems to be asking how frequently people use them, um, do they use the paper ones or the app? And it's got everyone in a panic about the future of paper instructions with Lego. If you don't know, Lego have an app. I think it's called the Lego Builders app or something similar like that, where you can scan a QR code. That is where you earn the points through Lego Insiders for scanning your paper instructions. And then you can use the online instructions, which helps to clear a bit of desk space if you're building a big Lego set and I put out a poll a few days ago asking if you do use instructions and I don't know if it'll be the same when I'm editing this video but as of right now no one has selected the option never. I gave four options yes no sometimes never so either you do use instructions most of the time you don't most of the time sometimes you're a bit 50 50 or you've never used paper instructions and it turns out no one that has voted on that poll has never used paper instructions. So at some point, everyone has used paper instructions, but are they necessary to the future of Lego sets? That's what I wanna talk about today. Get my opinion out there and let me know yours down in the comments. And if you do wanna consider becoming a member, we can have a more meaningful conversation over on the Discord. And it's specifically based on the other competitors and what other companies are making with Lego bricks, without Lego bricks, you usually get a, it used to be a USB stick, now it's a QR code or you get sent a Google Drive link by email to build the set with PDF instructions. And by all means, you're allowed to print them out by yourself, but most companies opt for the easier, less paper consumption and also less printing because these companies do also have to print onto the paper for the instructions to be able to supply them to you and I think it's a very interesting point with Lego trying to cut down on their non recyclable plastics and switch into the paper bags. That is the best way they can cut down on their paper usage, but it's not going to be the best way for people to build Lego sets. I completely understand why people want to keep paper instructions, but I think the problem with it is that the majority of Lego users that have the loudest voices in the community are always saying about the people that don't have access to the internet, the people that can't afford a device that will work with the Lego Builder app. And I think we're giving Lego the wrong message because saying things like that, they sound like mere excuses and none of them hold up too well. For instance, I am recording every single video for this channel on a phone that cost me a hundred pound and that is the price of some lego sets if people are opting to buy the lego sets chances are they have a device that can at least run the app they have an internet connection and that is not of concern to lego and i'm fully aware that some of you may be sitting there with the latest flagship phone which is a bit expensive than the one i'm using but i got up some statistics on statista of the average price of phones and we don't really care about where they are heading into the future, but the average price of a phone worldwide, this includes budget phones and the latest new tech. This year is 287 pound 75p. Brickset calculate the prices of sets from 2008 and 2017, and it's a shame they don't have any updated information, but there was a lot to work with here. And I found on Bricker that the average price of a Lego set last year was $61.53. So you're looking at about five, six sets equaling a phone. So it's not that far a reach to assume someone who is buying Lego sets, not for a one-off, already has access to the technology needed for digital instructions. Lego as a business kind of makes sense that they're going for the people with more money so they can spend more money on a Lego set. They're not trying to please people that buy a one-off set and perhaps this is a reason to include paper instructions in the F1 models, the giant Technic cars and some of the Lego art sets for specifically the people that buy one-off 
sets. Whereas if you have to download an app and go through the trouble of using a device to get a Lego set, perhaps if the app's already there, a second set doesn't hurt as much as if you had to re-download something every single time you use it. So there are definitely arguments for and against. Personally, I am sat on the fence. I do like the paper instructions, but I think there should be a way you can opt out to save paper because I find myself a lot of the time, whether it be buying sets for the Bricklink store or buying sets for minifigures, or if I need the parts to build a minifigure scale set, you saw it with the 330 second battle pack. If I could have purchased them through Lego, got some money back or got some savings by opting out of the paper instructions rather than the merely 20 points you get for scanning every instruction. I would like a significant amount back. Let's not get carried away. I'm not asking for 20% off a set because I didn't want the instructions. But if we could get more than that 20 points for opting out of paper instructions, that is a great way for LEGO to not only reduce the paper they are using and the printing and all the materials and time that that is taking, but also to convince people to buy more sets because you definitely know the money I'm saving on Lego isn't going to anything else but the next set. So I think it's definitely an interesting take that Lego could have an opt out option. I think the default has to include the paper instructions just to appeal to everyone that hasn't already picked up a Lego set. At some point, everyone that's got a Lego set is gonna build their last set. Lego needs to be keeping up their audience that haven't built sets and reeling more and more people in. And I think stopping paper instructions isn't gonna be that big a game changer for a company as big as Lego. It's a similar argument to why people don't go with customs. It's because of the quality and the quantity of Lego sets that are out in the world. Outweighs something like not having any paper instructions. And as for getting rid of screen time and something like that, usually when I'm building a Lego set, there is a movie or something on in the background. There will be something that I'm listening to, be it the latest Shy Time Is My Time podcast or the latest Brixie Studio video. There is something on my screen, no matter what it is I am building. Sometimes that is a Star Wars movie, especially when I'm building my Star Wars mocks, just so I can get the accuracy and get a bit of feel for the scene that it appears in on screen. And that would be hard to try and watch that and have the instructions up but I've always got my phone that I can get them up. You don't need a big screen for Lego instructions. The app is so, so easy to use. And if you haven't, next time you pick up a Lego set, give it a try. This isn't an advertisement. I'm not being sponsored to say anything about this. I just wanna know your opinion on paper instructions. If you haven't used the app, go use it on your next Lego set and come back to this video, write in the comments your experience and how it holds up to the paper. There will be nothing like using a set of paper instructions to build a Lego set, especially for us fans that have been building Lego for years, even decades. There's nothing like a paper set of instructions, but the future of Lego might be more digital than we would like. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out these videos that YouTube thinks you might enjoy, and don't forget to let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. May the bricks be with you always.